Hello my friends, we are back again with Monahan Tooling Group and my buddy Scott. Today we are going to talk a little bit about reaming, but first, for those of you who don't know, Scott's going to tell us what is the art of reaming. So reaming is, uh, for lack of a better you know, explanation, it's producing a very precise hole with excellent size control, uh, surface finish, very, very round, but basically we're taking a, a say a drilled hole and we are just making it more precise with a reamer. Okay, so why would I utilize a reamer instead of a drill or is a reamer just in addition to a drill? A reamer would be in addition to a drill. I mean, and, and in some cases, if it's a super, maybe a very precise, expensive component, the customer might, may even drill and then single point bore or bore and then ream. I mean, a reamer is, is capable of holding microns. I mean, microns in size, uh, microns in roundness, and very, you know, very, very good, good surface finish qualities. So, Scott, tell me, now that we understand a little bit more about reaming, tell me what you have in your hand. Okay. So, this reamer, what makes it unique is it's a, uh, well, first of all, it's a monoblock. It's a one-piece reamer. Uh, the next thing would be is it's an expandable reamer. Now it's not adjustable, it's expandable. And these, these reamers are meant to be expanded for wear compensation. So when they, come, when they come in out of the box, they're ready to cut right to size. Normally, um, unless we, um, with the customer's input, decide to, to shoot at a, at a different part of their tolerance field, they come in right at mean. So right in the middle of their tolerance is where these are ground, and that's where they cut when, when you start. As it wears, the expandable, the expansion screw allows the customer to expand the reamer, get it back, back up in, into that middle of the tolerance, or maybe even above, above mean, to pro prolong tool life. It's all about getting the most, most holes out of this reamer. That's very clever. And as it starts to dole off, how far can I stretch it or expand it before I need to replace it? Well, um, it's pretty uh, normal for these tools to be expanded three, four, maybe five times. And then eventually, like you, you mentioned, the surface finish, the, the, the wear on, on the blades um, and the surface finish of the hole kind of gets to the point where it's, it's out of tolerance. So. The nice thing about that then is Diatool is very good at reconditioning these reamers to as good as new. So it's not, not something that you uh, throw away. It's not something that we really, we, we really don't like to, to regrind them. We can regrind them, but when we truly retip the reamer, complete, put brand new blades on the reamer, it's as good as new. So your tool life will always be the same no matter if it's new or if it's been retipped. And we do not put a uh, limit on the number of retips. Some companies do. We'll retip it as long as the body is, is, is in good sure. condition. So, Scott, when you say retipping, we're reusing the body of that tool and just adding new edges to an existing tool, correct? Correct. Now, that, that makes sense. Obviously, that's going to be a cost savings for a customer to know that for the lifetime of that body, it'll be usable and they can just retip over and over again? Yes. Exactly. And what specifically about this tool would you say is a real standout? Why someone want to want to get this specific tool? Sure. Well, um, we we make reamers for all all metals, hard metals, you know, soft metals, cast, cast, you know, aluminum, everything. We've got different, you know, uh, cutting materials. We have different coatings, different geometries. I mean. All, I mean, I don't want to say it's infinite, but the combination is pretty, pretty staggering. And what we do is we really make sure that we supply the, the best of all that for the application, for the material, for the machine. You know, is it high production, low production? You know, we really kind of take all that in, talk to the customer, and come up with, with what's, what's best for tool life, for cost per hole, for quality. You know, lathes, all those things. Mills. These, these, we've got reamers running on lathes, um, where the, you know, the reamer stationary. Maybe it's in a floating holder. Maybe it's not, but a lot of times that we do put them in a floating holder in a lathe. But uh, milling is definitely the predominant application for these for these tools. In any material. Any material. Any metal. 
So Scott, this is obviously all about precision. So do you have additional adapters that go with these reamers to even create an even tighter tolerance for some machines? We do. We have, um, Diatol manufactures a full line of compensation holders, um, CAT40, CAT50, BT40, BT50, HSK, 6300, on and on and on. Um, for a tool like this with a cylindrical shank, and, and these are all ground to an H6 tolerance. We have um, hydraulic, so the front of this spindle adapter or tool holder would have a hydraulic chuck on it. Um, for some of our, our larger reamers, and we do go up to 225 millimeters in diameter, we would have more of a, um, a tool holder where you'd have your base unit is your CAT50 or maybe HSK100 or you know the other ones that I mentioned. And then you're gonna have a, a flange mounted shank that bolts to that, that spindle adapter and gives you your your run out adjustment with your with your screws and then the uh, the tool like I said this one's more of a hydraulic chuck this one's more of a flange mount and the in the and these tools are mainly uh, modular in design so you've got just like a reaming head and this we're talking monoblocks now but we we could get into the into the bigger reamers um, you know as well uh, and, and a curiosity how sure. big do they get they get up to 225 millimeters in oh, diameter yeah. only. Okay. It's pretty big. Well, Scott, thank you for sharing a little bit about that reamer, but let's okay. talk a little bit more about this video and the company. Sure. So what we're looking at here is the inside of uh, Diatool Precision Tooling in Rheinfeld in Germany. And uh, we are, so everybody's like, say, okay, what's Monahan? We are their exclusive sales channel in the United States. We've been, been that since 2006, and um, it's, it's been a great relationship. It's gonna continue to be a fantastic relationship. And what they really do is they are truly reamer specialists. They don't manufacture anything else. They manufacture reamers, they repair reamers, it's what they do, it's in their DNA, and um, they're, they're just fantastic to work with. Um, super super deliveries super high on time performance and uh the the performance and their 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 knowledge and expertise are just off the off the charts and how long have they been around they've been around for uh 35 years they probably yeah. know what they're doing by they now know what they're doing yeah yeah they were they were trained by some really really uh, uh pretty amazing reamer uh folks back in switzerland in the day um is how they they really got their start but yeah, there they are. And so, exclusive distributor here in the U.S. Yes. So, if you so want we're a Dia tool. It's coming through it's you. It's coming through us. And then we we're so we're I say distributor, master distributor. We are selling through a, our distributor network to cutting tool distributors, integrators, and things like that across the United States. And a lot of what you guys do here at Monahan Tooling Group, where somebody else might consider an application to be a special you consider it to be your everyday process. You're here for the customer. You make sure that they're taken care of. When they have an unusual um, setup or program or you know, tooling application that you can support them on, your lead time is typically short and you can spend a lot of time you know, listening to their concerns and then implementing a project that works specifically for them. True. I mean, with, with, our, with our, our machining skills and knowledge that, that we have, and then you put on top of that all of the reaming knowledge that we've acquired over 14 years now, it, it's, I mean, we can practically do it in our sleep. I mean, it's just, it's just normal for us. It's just how we, we do things. We, we look at, um, I mean, a special application, I mean, it, we just do specials. You know, we, we don't uh, sell a commodity you know, products out of a catalog. We, we look at the application and study it and come up with the best solution. 